Hi, this is Sean from Time and Talk. Today's video is going to be about this guitar. So, um, you'll have seen on my channel, obviously it's primarily about watches, but I also am interested in guitars, well, guitar, and I, I have made a video about a guitar before, and I've recently bought this, so I thought I would take you through a little bit of a review of this guitar and also play it a little bit just in case you're in the market. I think in terms of guitars it's really challenging to hear what they sound like on a video on YouTube and the mic is not professional by any means but it'll give you an idea and also I think it will help to know my opinion because obviously you can read a lot about things on forums and, and things like that but you never really I don't know, it, it feels like you only hear the bad stuff, um, which is what I experienced when I was when I was choosing this. So, in terms of this guitar, this is a Gibson Hummingbird, it's, it's new, um, and I think it's the Hummingbird Standard, it's got a pickup in there, I'm not going to bang on about any specs or anything like that, because I'm not um, a really technical person, I just like to play the guitar. What I would say is I had a number of choices and a number of models that I was thinking about. So Martin D28, um, some of the Gibsons, a, a D35, a D41, a Guild acoustic and etc, etc. And obviously where I, well, where I live in the northwest of England, it, it's perhaps difficult to find shops that sell all of those models so what i did it was basically a chance thing i i saw this in a shop and tried it and then eventually ended up buying it i also had a, a guitar that i traded in um but um so i only have one guitar so this is really important for me to to, to get it right the Hummingbird was first released in the 60s um, and it was kind of a, it was supposed to be Gibson's answer to a Martin Dreadnought, so it was supposed to be like a D28. It's shorter scale than a, than a standard Dreadnought. It's made out of mahogany um, and obviously the, a lot of people comment on the, the kind of looks of a Hummingbird, so it's got the characteristic scratch plate, it's a, it's a sunburst colour, I think the most famous um, colour is kind of a cherry red colour. This is the one that they had available in the shop, so this is the one that I got. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of, um, like I said, I'm not an expert on these things. Um, it's a very nice guitar. And what's interesting, I think, in relation to, to this, and particularly in terms of Gibson guitars, is I read a lot about it and I heard people saying that you know Gibsons have that don't have the quality control that other brands have um, other people were saying the opposite and also in terms of the sound I think about what are you looking for I mean in terms of mahogany dreadnought and this is a small scale you tend to get a sound that's a little bit brighter and not what you might expect from a high level high-end dreadnought guitar so i think i had that in my head when i was buying this i thought my, the sound in my head was a martin sound with the big boomy bass and the guitar that's really loud and that is not what this guitar does so the first time i tried it i was a little bit disappointed and then something kind of clicked in, in my head um so i i think I'll shut up now and I'll just I'll just give a little bit of a, a demonstration of the guitar. What I would say is the guitar that I used to have was a La Rive. I think the La Rive was more well built than this guitar is. Um, I see this now as kind of like a, a flawed but brilliant instrument. Um, and I don't quite know what I mean by that. Um, and I don't really know why either. It's just from observation, from just looking at it, it seemed like the Le Rive was more premium. 
I imagine that Larive make fewer instruments per year, and I imagine the process is more kind of hands on at Larive because it's a smaller company, it's less well known. Whereas Gibson, everybody knows Gibson. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to own a Gibson acoustic, and now I'm living the dream. Um, but having said that, it does sound really, really good. Um, and I think what I did was I, I basically learned the intro of Angie, the Rolling Stones song, which is the song that, one of the most famous songs that was originally played on this guitar and record. And that helped me to kind of understand what the sound was in this guitar. I don't know if I'm talking nonsense, but I'm, I'm trying to be clear. So yeah, I'll just play a few things um, and I'll let you make up your mind about the guitar. Um, as I said, I love it and it's a it's a brilliant guitar. It's probably not for everybody. Um, and there are other models in the Gibson line and obviously Martin and, and, and other brands like that, but I'll just play you some, some, some from this.
Okay, yeah, so you might not be able to hear, you know, studio level quality sound there, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what the guitar sounds like. I'm really happy with it. Like I said, it's not perfect, it's not for everybody, but I really do love the guitar. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.